Hi, I'm Ellen. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing what is on my Christmas wish list as well as a bunch of other Christmas gift ideas. I have a list of over a hundred things and I'm going to put a little star next to everything that is on my personal wish list and the rest are just other great ideas. I'm gonna go pretty quickly through these gifts because I have so many but we'll start off with the comfy which is a wearable blanket. Super cozy and I feel like for this time Perfect. Next is platform Doc Martin boots. Graphic tees would be another great gift idea because, you know, you can never have too many. A big trend going around has been sweater vests, so if you've got a trendy gal in your life, you can get her a sweater vest. Or him, you know, men in sweater vests is also very attractive. Next thing on my list is the Uggs Oh Yeah slippers. I think they're so cute and I love all of the different colors they have for those. Influencer or musician merch is also a great gift. I myself asked for some Harry Styles inspired apparel. Kind of along with that musician vein, you could also get an album for somebody. You could even get them virtual concert tickets. So different musicians have been putting on virtual concerts. Sometimes it feels weird to buy tickets to that because you're like, well, it's online. But I feel like it could be a really cool experience, so getting that for someone else is really cool. Hair accessories have been really big, and so you could get some of the claw clips or little barrettes for someone. There's a ton of cute tote bags out there. I found one that's really cool, like a watercolor close-up of the different members of BTS. I'm a little obsessed, I apologize. But you can find plenty of tote bags with different themes and designs with whatever they're interested in if they're not a fan of BTS. Jewelry is another great gift and there is tons of beautiful stuff out there. I found these beautiful ones designed by Best Dress, aka Ashley, on YouTube and I think they're so beautiful. Back to comfortable clothing, I think a sweat set would be really cute. I feel like sweats are inherently like kind of, you know, not the best look, but when they're in a matching set, it feels a little bit more put together and we love that. If the person you're gifting to has gotten more into working out during quarantine or they're just into the athleisure look, you can get them a matching workout set. There are so many beautiful brands that do it. Um, I have linked one for Outdoor Voices. There will be links for just about everything down below. Staying in that fitness kind of vein, a yoga mat can be a really great gift. You could go more high-end with like a Lululemon yoga mat. The one that I use, I think the brand is pronounced GM, Gaim. <laughs> I got that one from Target and I think it's really nice quality. It's kind of in that $30 price range. Another easy at home workout is jump roping. So you could get someone a jump rope or a lot of the video workouts for your lower half of your body <laughs> require resistance bands or at least resistance bands would be helpful. So that's another great gift. You could also get them a set of weights. I would say when it comes to fitness gifts, be sure that the person likes fitness is getting into it. It's something that they would enjoy because it can definitely feel offensive if somebody gives you stuff for working out and you're like, oh cool, you're telling me I need to be working out. So just be cautious of that. <laughs> Another fun gift for the fitness area, but also just in general, is an Apple Watch. So the new Apple Watch 6, or you could go with the Series 3, that's what I have. And I think that it's perfectly lovely. It does everything I need it to. If the person you're gifting to already has an Apple Watch, you could look into getting them some new Apple Watch bands. I decided to ask for a more professional looking Apple Watch band so that whenever I do have a job, <laughs> I can have my Apple Watch look a little fancier. Now moving into some different electronic type gifts. I think Alexa devices are really cool gifts, especially for somebody who's gotten a little older and have their own place now. They have a variety of different types of Alexa devices and different price ranges. A Kindle's a really cool gift for people who like reading. I think a mini projector would be an awesome gift for somebody who loves movie nights. Beats headphones or just noise canceling headphones I think are an awesome gift. You could also go the AirPod route if you want. And another good headphone gift are gaming headsets, which 
have like a little microphone on it. I did put a Nintendo Switch on my Christmas list and I specifically put the Animal Crossing version and I also put Animal Crossing New Horizons on my list so I'm excited to play Animal Crossing on my Animal Crossing Switch. Hopefully. <laughs> I also added Pokemon Shield to my Christmas list. Now in the home office kind of space, I think a Bluetooth keyboard or mouse would be a great gift. A desk mat is a really cool gift as well. It's something that can brighten up your desk space and make it feel a little bit more exciting to work maybe. Um, it's basically a giant mouse pad, but I kind of love it. Laptop stands are also a great gift. You could also do a laptop case or phone case. Another great option for people who are on their screens a lot is blue light glasses. Succulents or plants are another great gift item. The tile GPS trackers are another great gift. You can add them to your keychain or anything, so for people who lose things a lot, this is a good one. Room decor is another great gifting category, so you could look into giving someone a poster. I put one that keeps track of the Colorado 14er hikes that you've done on my list. Could also go with tapestries, or you could splurge on a Tesla collage kit for somebody. I feel like these have been all over social media and they're so beautiful. Christmas always brings out the inner kid in me and so sometimes I put some things on there that my parents make fun of me because I'm 22 they're like you don't need that but it's fine we're all kids at heart so with that in mind I think squishmallows are a great gift. Uh, TikTok has been all over them. Another TikTok plushie I saw is an octopus that is reversible so you can indicate whether you're in a good mood or a bad mood to people around you. My third plushie option is a heatable plushie. So this is one where you can throw it in the microwave and it's nice and cozy. Another heated item would be a heated blanket and I think that's great especially if you're still doing outside gatherings with people and it's cold out. I have a bunch of crusty old makeup brushes so I put a makeup brush set on my Christmas list. Most people don't clean their brushes so it's nice to get new ones. <laughs> Eyeshadow palettes are also super fun. I've been eyeing this bento box style one where it's three eyeshadows stacked. Skincare has also gotten super big for people in quarantine. So if you know somebody who's gotten more into that, maybe you could watch some skincare by Hiram videos and figure out some items they might wanna try. A couple suggestions I have are The Ordinary's Niacinamide. I think I'm saying that right. Um, that serum or their AHA serum. Um, both of those have been super trendy and I've heard great things about. A really nice sunscreen would also be a great gift. Sunscreen is a huge part of skincare. Lush bath bomb sets are a holiday gift staple. A set of sheet masks is another great kind of relaxing gift to give people. Fun candles have gotten really big on TikTok as well, so you could find some different candles that kind of work as room decor and also as a candle. I also found these electric candle lighters that I think are really awesome. Uh, it's rechargeable and basically like tases your candle into lighting. For people who love doing their nails, you could get them an Olive and June manicure set or a set to help them do their own dip powder nails or a gift card to their favorite salon to get a mani pedi. Another great gift card option could be for somebody to go get their brows done. A pricier gift but super nice could be a Dyson hair dryer. For people who blow dry their hair all the time, I feel like this is a great gift. For people who are maybe interested in becoming an influencer of some type, you could do a selfie ring light tripod to help them film any TikToks they want to do. Or if they're more interested in YouTube, you could look into getting them a vlog camera. I use a Canon G7 Mark II for my vlogs and I love it. You could do a little bundle or kind of mix and match with things you know they don't have yet. So other things that are great for creators would be a tripod an external hard drive, a microphone to up their audio quality, an SD memory card. You could also get them an iTunes gift card with the amount for Final Cut Pro if they're a Mac user. It's a nice editing software and I'm sure they would love it. You don't really need to be a creator for this one, but I feel like film cameras have gotten big again. Polaroid pictures have also gotten big again. I think a Instax printer is really nice because then you can take photos off of your phone and turn 
turn them into Polaroids. If somebody already has an Instax printer or a camera, you could also go the route of getting them some Instax film. Another great option is stickers. So I'm planning on getting some stickers for friends who don't live close to me right now because you can put it inside of a letter and just send it in the post. Another great gift for people who maybe don't live close to you right now could be a cute card set and a sheet of stamps so that you guys can be pen pals. For the crafty person in your life, I found these really fun crochet project kits. This one is Pusheen, which is a little Japanese cat character. They have plenty of other ones as well. Another one of my passions is bullet journaling, so I've got a couple of things on my list that are great for people who maybe want to get into bullet journaling or if they already are and could use a refresh on their supplies. So the first would be a bullet journal. So some of the more popular brands are Leuchtturm 1917 or Archer & Olive. Um, another great option is from Amanda Rach Lee. She is an amazing bullet journal YouTuber and she's released her own set of journals that look so beautiful. So all three of those options are linked below. Having fun markers is really great for bullet journaling as well. So you could get them a set of Tombow dual brush pens. They have so many fun colors or some zebra mild liners. I love these. They're great for adding color and for highlighting. So if they're a student, that's kind of a double win. Faber Castell pit pens I really like for um, doing some outlining work or different things like that in my bullet journal. For people who maybe aren't into bullet journaling, you could go with a 2021 planner instead so it's set up for them. There's some beautiful ones from Rifle Paper Co. and Bandeau. Wall calendars are another great gift. A lot of times I'll get wall calendars from my grandmas. I feel like quarantine has really made me appreciate journaling so I think a blank journal could be a great gift idea. Or you could go for a guided journal, so a gratitude journal, or there's a great one called the five minute journal. And I've also seen ones um, where you write like one line a day and you have it for five years. I think that's really cool as well. An online newspaper subscription could be a really great gift, especially for people who are getting more into you know, keeping up with current events. You could get them a magazine subscription for something they're interested in. Card and board games have gotten a lot more popular in quarantine and I found one that looks really cool. It's called We're Not Really Strangers. It's like a conversation game and it basically helps spark deeper conversations with your friends. It also works as really great journal prompts. Another fun game is What Do You Meme? I got that last year and I really love it. And if you know people who already have the game, you could also get them expansion packs. Settlers of Catan has been a family favorite game. For people who have moved out of the house, you could get them their own set. You could also get somebody a virtual game account, like something for Jackbox games or a website my friends and I use called Tabletopia. Next I've got a couple of book ideas. My first thoughts when it comes to books is to get somebody a book that you love personally. I think it's so special when you give someone a book and you tell them all of the reasons why you enjoyed it and think that they would enjoy it as well. I also have some specific books on my list that I think could be great for others as well. One is called The Defining Decade by Meg Jay. She's a PhD and is basically talking about why your 20s are important and you should be making moves. <laughs> the next is Uncomfortable Conversations with a Black Man by Emmanuel Acho. I think this would be a great book for somebody in your life that you want to spark more conversations when it comes to race. Another book I really enjoyed is called I'm Still Here. Black Dignity in a World Made for Whiteness by Austin Channing Brown. I was really impressed by this book. I thought that the stories she told and the way she told them were really touching and it's a really approachable book. The last book I have on my list is called Minor Feelings in Asian American Reckoning. This is one I have not yet read and it is on my personal wish list. My last set of gift ideas are kind of kitchen things. So the first item in that category is the Our Place Always Pan. It's an eight in one pan and really aesthetic looking. For the people who are 21 and up, a cocktail shaker is a really fun gift idea. You could also get them a set of cocktail mixer samples. I've seen like little sets of them where you just add it to different liquors and it makes a mixed drink very easily. <laughs> Another trendy kitchen appliance 
An air fryer would be a fun gift. A blender is another great gift. Glass coffee mugs have also been super trendy lately, so you could pick up some of those for your trendy friend. Simple modern tumblers are like a water bottle sippy cup situation and they blew up on TikTok because apparently Victoria's Secret models like them. Electric tea kettles are a great gift for people, especially if they love tea. I found one that lets you set what temperature you want the water to get to and I think that's super cool because different teas are technically supposed to be brewed at different temperatures. For people who are more earth conscious, you could get them some stasher bags, which are silicone baggies pretty much. You could also do beeswax wrap, which is a replacement for saran wrap. Reusable straws are also great, so you could get them silicone straws or bamboo straws or glass straws, whatever you feel would be best for them. And my final gift idea is a donation to a cause that they care about. I hope you enjoyed all of these gift ideas and that they helped you out in some way. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!